consequences or find somebody else. Because I told you better. Did that take place or not? No. Speak back. No. That's the thing. If he calls me, I'm just 17 years old, he will be 18 in a month. You forgot. I guarantee it to you, and I told him, you remember this, I'm it. Then I say to you, if the phone rings at 2 o'clock in the morning, and you're at a police station for something stupid, because you were with the wrong crowd, didn't I tell you I'm going to roll back and go sleep? Yeah. Yes, I did. There he is. Very intelligent, very responsible. He has a job. He pays for his own car. But I told him, you in the wrong crowd or the wrong people, you're going to bear the consequences. Why? Because I can't live for you for the rest of my life. You have to be responsible for your own actions. People always say to me, it's a free country. I have the right to express my opinion. I agree with you 100%. If you are that good, you're also responsible to bear the consequences of your own decisions. Is this fair or not? Each one of you has a safety hit now. It's called what? Parents. In my case, when I came to this country in 1989, I did not have a safety net. What's a safety net? Anybody been to the circus? When you walk on that rope that's hanging 30 or 40 feet up in the air, most of the time they have what underneath? <laughs> Two weeks ago, there was a, a brother and a sister in Times Square. They walked on the rope. Did you guys see it on, on TV? Yes. They were tied up with what? Harness, remember the harness? When I came here, there was no harness for me. There was no safety net. If I walk, I'm going to hit rock bottom. This is how you live your life. Don't live your life that there's always a safety net. Because something might change. Live your life on your own standards. So if your friends are not the smartest, start to look for new ones. Because they're going to drag you down. I guarantee you. Next slide to three. Here's another one, and this is, Marwa gave me, is she alive, Marwa, or is she left? Sister Marwa gave me this. She said, let's start with something like this. You are the average of five of your closest friends. Are you or not? Yes, you are. I don't know who you are, but if I see who's around you, I know a couple of them, and I have an idea what kind of person you are. Next one. What do you see in the picture of the house? Backstabbing, that's what she understood. Fine. What's the picture? The girl's laughing. I don't know what they're doing. They're laughing. What is it? Is that Kamal Ross? Is that Kamal's time helpful with that? Right, Brother Yusuf? Yeah. Is that Kamal's time was passing by. I put him on the spot. I told him to, uh, to comment from the picture. What do you see in the picture? Anybody else? What's your name? Abdullah. What do you see in the picture? Bullying. That's a good observation. Yes, me. What do you see in the picture? What is it? I can't hear. Can you guys hear? Fake friends and gossiping. Okay, what else? What else? Now, what you see in the picture? Yellow, wake up! I guess you need glasses. You don't see anything in the picture? That's true. What, what do you understand from the picture? They're talking about somebody. True. Do you see how the, the girl in the red dress is sad? Yeah. And those two mean ones are making fun of her? Yeah. What are they doing? They're telling her you don't belong. Do we have to belong? No. If you are on the right track, don't worry about fitting in. Why? Fitting in. Why try so hard to fit in, next one's a video. Read it very loudly. You were born to stand out, born to stand out. Do you believe that you were born to stand out? Yes. How? Listen to me very carefully, because when I say this, people, I see the eyes popping out. If I would tell each one of you right now that you were in a race at one point, oh Lord, I'm being the president, I'm sweating over this. Allah, each one of you, including me and Sister Mervin and Brother Yusuf, everybody in this class, were in a race, and you won that race, that race against two to three million individuals. Would you believe me? No. You don't? Who believes me? A 
Of course, skeptical. You're not going to believe me, guys. Because I'm telling you something you never heard. How am I doing a trick? If you know the trick, keep it to yourself. You know the trick? You know it? You know the answer? No, you don't know the answer. But you believe me? Why do you believe me? It's not a metaphor. It's something physical. Wallahi it happened. Wallahi it happened. Wallahi it happened. I keep saying wallahi. Nobody believes me. I'm not a liar. You were in a race. And you were the first place against two to three million individuals. You still don't believe me? Aha! Ismail, let's listen to Ismail. Say it loud. That's where it Yes! You guys come from where? Alright, go, guys. You need to talk. Hello, what is it? You guys come from where? This is sensitive. Please pay attention to me. You guys come from where? From dad and mom. Everybody passed that sixth grade, so they explain it to you. You come from what? A male figure and a female figure. 23 chromosomes and 23 chromosomes, right? Yes. You, you were in the first place to what? To meet with that other half and become yourself. Against how many? Two to three million different sperms. So if you can do it without a brain, can you tell me why can't you, can't you do it now with fully equipped brain? Body, everything. Why can't you make it? Why do you have to be an echo of somebody? Why have to be a shadow of somebody? Why? Allah brings us to this life fully equipped. It's up to you if you want to make it positive or negative. Allah is very, very merciful and fair. He brought you to this life fully equipped. You won that race. Why can't you won the race now? And you are much, much more qualified. So was I telling you the truth or was I lying to you? Now show me hands, who believes me now? Show me hands, who believes me now? You still don't believe me today? You guys believe me now? I risked my case, Your Honor. I risked my case. Anybody comes to me and says to me, I can't do it, you're full of garbage. Yes. Yes, you are full of garbage. I don't want to say the other words. You can do it, but what's the right word? I don't want to do it. 